I want to express thanks for this green wall uh, and for all the different uh, plant beings that are there. And we're going to go into some of those plant beings in, in a few moments uh, and think about everything that they, everything that they, can, they can offer. Um, how can we engage, engage these living relations as teachers about what it means to have good relationships? Uh, and there's so many different possibilities. And so a little bit what I want to do today is actually walk uh, these relations that are specifically out here into the land that, that we're actually on, that th these medicines can actually be found uh, in different parks around Toronto. And, and thinking about that, and thinking about that in relation to culture, thinking about that in relation to our next session around climate change, uh, and then our last session, getting to care. Uh, and and it's, it's a practice of putting ourselves into these, into these relationships. Now, here on this, we have a whole bunch of medicines on this, on this wall. A whole bunch of different, and th these are just some of the different plants that, that are represented on this wall. We have tree fern that can be used as a poultice to wash for bleeding. The reindeer natural can be used as an arthritic poultice. Moon moss uh, shades the forest floor. Uh, and I want to actually spend time with the moss. There's a bunch of different uh, sheet moss around, around here. Uh, these are di different kinds of mosses here as well. And one of the books that you'll find on the, uh, on the uh, bookshelves over there is by Robin Wall Kimmerer called Gathering, Gathering Moss. And it's a, it's a book just about the medicines that are in moss itself and what moss, what moss offers. Uh, here's, here's a quote from the book. Beautifully adapted for life in miniature, mosses take full advantage of being small and grow beyond their sphere at their peril. In being small, their limitation is their strength. You know, being small, their limitation is their strength. Each one of those medicines that Norm is talking about, each, the peoples, the cultures, the uh, Mother Earth and all the different elements, uh, each one of those have their own medicine, have their own strength. But their str any strength that we have is also our limitation. And so recognizing this, so one of the core things that Norma will, will, will reiterate over and over and over again when she's doing the teaching is that it's about complementarity. We are supposed to complement each other in the, in the relationships. So this is one of the things that, uh, that Moss uh, offers. When I was thinking about this green wall, I was thinking about it in relation to, uh, I don't know if anybody here knows uh, C.S. Lewis, uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe kind of thing. I was like, oh, I want to go into this wall and just kind of open up into a world. And so the Thanksgiving address is kind of being underlying it and all the, all, the, all the connectivity and that we can use this wall. And I don't like the word use. We can engage this wall. We can come into a relationship with this wall to walk outside and to fully understand what's in here is not different from what's out there, to break down those, those divides. And here's another really wonderful quote from, from, from Kimmerer that has so much connectivity to uh, Peter Wolben's work the German forester, uh, and she says, these very same fungi with hyphae in the moss also had hyphae in the roots of the spruce and of the pines. The patterns of reci reciprocity by which mosses bind together a forest community offers a vision of what could be. And you know, there are a few really key points here. So the moss is helping the fungi and helping build the interconnectivity of communication in the forest floor of all the roots of all the different trees in, in, that, in, that, in that system. And so in that, that's another medicine that they have. They help communication. And so thinking about these mosses as like helping our communication and, and how we're actually going to communicate across different species, across different cultures. This is from uh, a couple weeks ago when we did, when we talked about culture. And you know, the three sessions are really very much intertwined. Uh, and I wanted to start off today, it's intertwined by the screen wall. The, the, the whole session, the whole sessions are, are inspired by it. So uh, a couple a couple weeks, weeks ago again, I was making all these connections to all these different plants. And the, these, these white uh, words here, these are all the different kinds of plants that are on this, on this wall right now. And I'm not going to go into them. Each one has their own medicine, has their own gift. Uh, you know, beautiful design to kind of, kind of think about. 
But what I wanted to do is I wanted to walk this out here in Toronto. And I go to those West End ravines all the time near the Humber River or the Passage to Toronto. And I, I walk them in and I see, the, see this moss. And this moss, for example, Robin Wall Kimmerer talks about it as, you know, how, the, how they're so small and how they actually work with, uh, with the, the fungi that are actually in, in, in you know, Wolverine to talk, talking about that in, in his book on trees. Uh, the fungi that work with the roots and they create a kind of communication network. The moss helps build that kind of communication network. And they're, they're small, and she says they're, they're small, and their smallness is both their gift, is their strength, and their limitation. Each one of us, our gift is both our strength and our limitation. So it's called the Thanksgiving Address or Ohando Raiwadikwa Nopiya. And they're the words that come before every, every, everything else that we do. Like when I said I woke up this morning and I thought I have life. So I opened my eyes and, you know, and I look around me and it's kind of cloudy out, you know. But the day is still beautiful because I'm willing and able to participate in it. So, um, you know, and that's where we begin, you know, is to give thanks to ourselves for that life that we have and to move forward through the day to be able to acknowledge those things that come before us, you know, and take the best of those things and to put it in our minds so that the Creator you know, knows that we're thinking. I always have to have that connection and be connected in all of those times, whatever we're going. And we have ceremonies and speeches that, that address that. So with the Thanksgiving, um, we always start with the people in Gyukwa because we need people in order for our lives to be enhanced by one another, to be validated, to be acknowledged, you know, to recognize the gifts in each other and to bring those out and to, you know, to talk about those things because they're all really important to our life.